In ancient times, there was a river which was greater than all the world's rivers. It was called the Ras River. It was said that Yasef, the son of our master Noah, peace be upon him, had planted pine trees. On the shore of the river, there were twelve trees and people were fascinated by them. Oh, people, the majesty king Tarkuz, the king of Isfindar and its neighboring countries. Your majesty, please, speak to your people. Oh, people, servants of the blessed tree, you have deprived yourselves of drinking holy water in order for the goddess tree to grow. And now you have the right to celebrate this feast. Will these holidays ever end? Lower your voice, my father, lest they should harm you. Come on, father, let's bring our sacrifices for the celebration to the tree. For we can do no other than that. Celebrating the holidays had strange rituals. Is the cooking team ready? They only brought me a hundred cows, and I need another hundred, so that the smoke of cooking rises to the sky. Why didn't you bring the master chef what he ordered? We have taken half of the farmer's livestock, chief minister. Take the other half. The important thing is that the blessed tree gets satisfied with us. You can tell King Tarkus that we have prepared everything for the holy party. Please, calm down, father. We could not have prevented the king's soldier from taking our livestock. The land has dried up, and the cattle are lost. So from where will we eat now onwards? Our neighbor, Mr. Hanzala bin Safwan, brought us this food. And will we live on the help of this good man for the rest of our lives? Without this good man, the poor and the needy would have perished from hunger and thirst. What do you think, O oh King Tarkuz? It's okay. The important thing is that the goddess is satisfied with us. Play the music loud and prepare the feast of Eid. The goddess is not satisfied, Gornar. Excuse me, my lord, how did you know? She is silent, looking at us angrily. And Satan was looking at them from afar, and he was ready to strike terror in their hearts. You fools, we are going to have a lot of fun tonight, you people of the Svendar. <laughs> Look at the holy tree! Be satisfied with us, our fruitful goddess. Let everyone be silent and let us kneel in reverence and submission to the goddess. <laughs> Mercy, goddess of fertility and growth. استحوذ عليهم الشيطان فأنساهم ذكر الله أولئك حزب الشيطان ألا إن حزب الشيطان هم الخاسرون I am satisfied with you, O oh my servants. So be kind to oneself and pour wine. Dance and sing. <laughs> My lord King Tarkus, it's time to take revenge on the sinful boy who dared to drink from the holy water. I am innocent, my lord. Mercy. I did not mean to do that. Shut up, you infidel. 
How dare you defile the holy river by drinking from it? I was thirsty. I couldn't stop myself from drinking. He confessed his crime. Didn't you know that the holy water is only for watering the goddess tree and forbidden to slaves like you? The infidel boy should be put to death at once. Separate his head from his body. Dad, do we sit silently and watch the killing of this little boy? As long as he has sinned, he deserves to be tortured, my daughter. Bless you, my faithful servants. <laughs> All worship the goddess. إن الذين كفروا وظلموا لم يكن الله ليغفر لهم ولا ليهديهم طريقا Isn't this Yathura, the wife of our good neighbor Hanzala? Yes, it's her, but she seems very worried. Maybe she is in trouble. We must help her as much as possible, since she and her good husband have helped us. Madam, madam, what's wrong with you? I don't know what to tell you, Shulin. I'm getting worried, daughter. Please talk. Yesterday, my husband woke up sweating and shivering with fever. Is he sick? No, rather it was revealed to him in his sleep to call people to worship the one God. This is great news. Your husband has been sent as a prophet. He is the good man in our time for this blessed call. I know, Shulin, but I fear for him. People of our tribe killed children if they were thirsty and drank from the water of the river. So what would they do with the man who defies their God? The prophet of God, Hanzala bin Safwan, called to worship the Allah and to leave what is other than him. The true prophet calls us to speak the truth and to bear harm in the way of God. We are poor and weak people who have no ability to support the prophet. So why not think about inviting the elders first? God revealed to his prophet Hanzala to invite all people, big and small, the poor and the rich, all of them are equal to God. Our numbers are few and we have neither money nor weapons. So how can we defeat the unbelieving people? The important thing is that we overcome ourselves first, so that we do not weaken or despair of God's mercy. Yes, we will not turn away from the truth after we came to know the way to him. Their numbers are few, your majesty, and there is no fear from them. So do we leave them until they become many, instead of doing something about them now? Order, my lord, and we will carry out your orders at once. Oh, Yarish, if your daughter does not carry out your orders, how will you convince the rest of the people? May I give you my opinion, my lord? Speak, Kornar. The strength of these people lies in Hanzala bin Safwan alone. If we get rid of him, we will defeat them all. This man works in herding cattle. I know. What is your plan? We will say that the cattle have drunk from the holy river and must be slaughtered. I understand. This is a threatening signal. Let them know how strong we are. How do you punish irrational animals whose fault is that they feel thirsty? Shut up, you lame old man. We are punishing the owner who forgot them and left. How could you harm a prophet sent by God to you? Who said he is a prophet? Only the poor and the most despicable people follow him. Silence! The blessed tree will speak! Listen to our holy goddess! My servants, I am not satisfied with you. Slaughter more cattle. What are you waiting for? Carry out the order of the goddess. Do you still believe in the words of Hanzala? Of course. He is the prophet of God. <laughs> if he had been a true prophet, he would have protected himself from the harm. What did Hanzala do after we hurt him? 
He just said a prayer on us. Uh, what did he say in his prayers? He looked at the sky and said, O oh Lord, your servants have refused to accept me, and they worship the tree, which neither harms nor benefits. Then he raised his hands up high and said, O oh God, dry all their trees and show them your power and authority. <laughs> What should I do now? I cannot challenge the god sign. I will go to another village and another tree. This is also the prayer of the prophet Hosadan. You're damned. Oh, oh. How did the tree wither? It was fruitful yesterday. Look! What happened to the tree? Perhaps what people say about the supplication of the prophet that appeared in his fender is true. The game of incarnation in the trees is over and I will have to go back to my old way. <laughs> the paranoia. Thank God we are no longer harmed by anyone. People were astonished by what happened and realized that the Prophet's call had been answered. Now they can no longer resist or find any excuse. How sweet is this water? The important thing is that we were saved by our religion and God helped his prophet Hanzala ibn Safwan. The believers of Hanzala knew the plot of killing their prophet, but they were few and weak. Come on, Shulin, hurry up. I carried my clothes and food for the way as well. The food does not matter now. We must warn our prophet and help him escape. Rather, we must go with him to where he commands us and protect him with our lives if they want to harm him. How did they catch him? <laughs> he did not try to escape. He said that there is no escape from God's judgment and that death for the sake of preaching is more honorable for him. What a great prophet! He is an infidel man of the holy tree. Will it become fruitful again? Or is it dead forever? Oh, people, Hanzala is just a wizard. A wizard? Yes, he casted a spell on your goddess to distract you from worshipping your goddess and let you all worship what he worships. Can our sacred gods be so easily enchanted? Oh, people, listen to the king. The sacred tree was angry with you when you allowed that man to disgrace it and invite you to worship anything other than it. So it withheld from you its beauty and splendor. Have mercy on us, O worship tree, and give us back your good fruits. Prepare to dig the well in which we will bury Hanzala alive until he dies a slow death. And we will enjoy his torment. I don't know what is the use of this giant tube. This is an unprecedented and a great achievement. And now, remove the water from the tube. Can we understand what is going on? When we remove the water from the tube, we will dig at the bottom of the river a well that can accommodate for one man. My lord, you mean Hanzala bin Safwan? Huh? And who else? Excuse me, my lord. Why all this trouble? To further humiliate him, at the bottom of the well, there will be an abyss. He will die of thirst while the river flows over him. What a genius idea! I'll jump into the water and try to move the stone. Do not do this! Did you forget the words of the Prophet? Your husband that God commanded us not to kill ourselves. I will try as much as I can. It's no use. I saw the stone they've put on it. 
It was a heavy stone and was carried by a group of divers. The faith that fills your heart is sufficient for him and comforts him in his loneliness. <laughs> this is a great victory over the children of Adam. You are killing a prophet sent by God to you. <laughs> You became my servants without I ask and it's a moment I should celebrate. <laughs> Give the offerings to the God and drink. Sing and dance happily at this manifest victory. And from the bottom of the river, prophet of God, Hansala, prayed, O oh God, you see my narrowness of my place and the severity of my anguish. So have mercy on my weakness and my helplessness. And the prophet prayed while he was dying. O oh God, have mercy on me and hurry to catch my soul. And do not delay my answer to my prayer. I bear witness that there is no God but God alone and that there is no God but Him. What happened to Mrs. Yathura? Check on her, my daughter. <laughs> she died, father. She died of grief and pain over the separation of her husband. Perhaps God has cooled her mind by taking her away. Come on, father. Do not forget the advice of the prophet of God to us. If you are surrounded, Emigrate. Yes, my daughter. The land of God is vast. O oh God, make us follow the truth and send us to the company of your righteous servants. And the Lord of glory, His Majesty, said in His divine hadith, addressing His angel Jibreel, peace be upon him. Do my servants think those who have tested my patience and worshipped others and killed my messengers can make me angry or challenge my authority? How? And I am the avenger from those who disobeyed and did not fear my punishment. Ah! 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 What is this storm? Help! Fire will eat our faces! Save us, blessed tree! Can't you see? It's burning, you idiot! Run away! My men, make a fence around me and protect me from this torment! Get away from me, you crazy fool! Ah! My body! Like water. In the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful, and Ab, and Thamud, and the companions of the Ras, and many generations between them. And for each we presented examples as warnings, and each we punished with destruction. وعادا وثمود وأصحاب الرس وقرونا بين ذلك كثيرا وكلا ضربنا له الأمثال وكلا تبرنا تتبيرا